Hi, and welcome to part 2 of your 26th iOS programming tutorial. In part 1, we began looking at UI table views and creating a basic table view. We created this application that you can see running in my iOS simulator, and all it did was display a list of iPhones and the dates they were released based on data that we fed it through an NS array. In this second part of the tutorial, we are going to be looking at how to detect when a cell is clicked or tapped on, and then display a new view controller that shows more information about the cell that was clicked on. In this case, we're going to show an image of the device that was selected. And we can also show text, web pages, anything really. So what will happen is, if I click on a device, let's say I click on iPhone 5, it's going to take me to a new view controller where I can see a picture of an iPhone 5. And then, because it's embedded in a UI navigation controller, we used a push segue to be able to swipe and use gestures to return to the table view where the cell is then deselected. And as you can see, that works with all the different images. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Let's open up the application that we began doing in the part one of this tutorial. If you didn't follow along with part one of the tutorial and you haven't yet created a table view in the way that we have here, then I suggest you follow along with that now. It's also worth watching tutorial 25 where we looked at passing data between views, as that's what we'll be doing today as we need to know uh, what, what phone was selected and what image that corresponds to. So that's the code we set up in our last tutorial. Before we proceed today, let's import some images of our various devices. So I've got an image of each device and, I've named, and I have named them accordingly. I'm just going to drag and drop them into my project and make sure the group copy items into destinations group folder is selected. Then click finish. Now they have all been uh, copied into my uh, project and double check that they're all there by selecting them. As you can see, they are. Now we need to create a new view controller. So the first thing to do is hit Command N, select Objective C class, and make sure that you're back to a subclass of UI view controller, not table view controller. Let's call this detail view controller. And then click finish and then click create. Now before we do anything else, we need to do two things. The first is in our detail view controller dot h we need to create two properties. One for the uh, name of the image, or the image actually, and then one for an image view to display the image. So let's do that. Type app property non-atomic retain UI image and then we'll call it um, detail image. And then at property strong non atomic UI uh, IB outlet sorry IB outlet UI image view image view. Now in detail view controller dot m under add implementation type at synthesize, and then we need to type the name of our image, which is uh, detail image equals underscore detail image. I'll explain all this code at the end, so don't worry about it for now. Now we need to add view did appear. So under view did load, type dash void view did appear animated, and then type uh, underscore, oh no, sorry, then type self dot image view dot image equals underscore detail image. Then add a semicolon. Now we can go back into our table view controller dot m. Now I'm trying to type all this code quite quickly so as to allow you to then get all the code done and then I can explain it. So if you're struggling to follow along, just pause the video and I will explain everything at the end. Now under our table view cell for our index path, we need to add two new methods. The first one we need to add is dash void uh, did, uh, sorry, table view and then look for table view did select row at index path. Make sure you don't select did unselect, we want did select. So table view, table view, did select row at index path, index path. Then open a curly bracket and press enter so that X code will insert the closing curly bracket. Underneath that we also need void prepare for segue and then open curly bracket and then press enter. And so those are the two new methods that we need. Before we do anything, we need to create a new array, like our title or our subtitle array, except it's going to hold the name of our images. So go into table view controller dot h and copy the line uh, that we just wrote before in the last tutorial. App property non-atomic retain NS array 
but change it to be image object array. And then in table view controller.m, underneath where we initialize our self.subtitle objects array, let's type self.image objects array equals at, and then actually we can just copy our subtitle objects array. Now where it says 2013, let's change that to 5s.jpg, or whatever your image is named, and then I've got 5c.jpg, or jpg, and then I've got 5. PNG 4s.jpg and 4.png and finally 3gs.jpg. It's very important that you get the names exactly right, as if, for example, I had done PNGs for all of those, there would have been no image to show. The app wouldn't have crushed or anything, it just wouldn't have done anything at all. So make sure that it's exactly correct as that's a common mistake to make. Now we need to start setting up our code in our did select row at index path method. Type self dot oh, first we need to create an image actually. So go back into table view controller dot h, copy this app property line, and change it to UI image and then let's just call it uh, table view image. Now back in the .m file in did select row index path, we need to type self dot table view image equals and then open square brackets UI image image named and then open another square bracket and type self dot image objects array object at index index path dot row. Then close those two square brackets. Then type self perform segue with identifier at talking mark talking mark and inside that we'll put the name of our segue which we haven't yet created but we'll just call it detail for now then send us self and close the square bracket now let's set up the code in our prepare for segue method so type if segue dot identifier and then open uh, close the square brackets and then xcode will put the opening square bracket in is equal to string at talking mark, talking mark, detail, or we can even do just is equal, uh, rather than is equal to string, that will also work. Then inside statements, let's push, put the code to pass the data to our detail view controller. And what we're going to do is just pass the image to detail view controller, and then detail view controller will be able to display the image. So back at the top of table view controller.m, under the hashtag import table view controller.h type, Hashtag import detail view controller dot h. Make sure it's dot h not dot m. Now in our statements type detail view controller and then asterisk detail vc equals segue dot destination view controller. Now we are getting a warning and as I said in tutorial 25 and passing data between views, it's good to cast this uh, segue destination view controller to detail view controller to get rid of the warning. If you don't know what that means, don't worry. Just copy this code. Now type detail vc dot image. Uh, we don't want the image view. We want uh, what do we call the property? Uh, detail image. Detail vc dot detail image equals self dot table view. Uh, oh, sorry, self dot table view image. So let's now go into our storyboard and add the final code, well not code, but the final details, and then see if it works. So the first thing we need to do is add a new view controller, which will be our detail view controller. So find just an ordinary view controller, not a table view controller, and drag that alongside the table view. Now we need to create a segue to that new view controller. We're not going to trigger the segue from a button or anything, we're just going to trigger it from the view controller itself. And so we'll trigger it in code. So make sure you can see your hierarchy inspector. If you can't, make sure that there is in the bottom left an arrow and make sure that you click on that to show the document outline. And then find table view controller and the actual view controller, nothing else. Then right click on that view controller object and drag it to the new detail view controller. For the type of segue, select push, and I'll explain why in a moment. Now, select the segue and make sure that you're on the attributes inspector 
set the identifier to be detail, which is what we set it to be in code, or that's the one that we were triggering in code. Now double click on the nav bar at the top, and let's change the title to be uh, detail view controller. You can change the title to be whatever you want though. And finally add an image view to the view controller. I'll just make it slightly smaller. And that's where we'll display the image of the device or the phone in this particular case. Now click on the black bar at the bottom of the view controller to change the class and then click on the newspaper icon for the class inspector and then for class type detail view controller. Finally, this time, right click on detail view controller in our document outline or hierarchy view and find under outlets image view. On the dot next to image view, click and drag to UI image view that is on our view controller. So let's now try running our application and see if everything works. Okay, so we've still got our table view, that's a good sign. Nothing's gone wrong and it hasn't crashed yet. Let's try clicking on iPhone 5, for example. As I click on it, we are taken to the new view controller and the image is set to be an iPhone 5. If I click the back button or drag as you can on iOS 7, although iOS 6 and 5 don't support that, uh, and then go back to the table view, I can select a different device. So let's say I select iPhone 4. I can now see an image of an iPhone 4. 3GS, I can do the same thing, and so on. Now, I said that you could put text in the detail view controller as well as just an image, and you can, and it's really easy. All you need to do is create another array, or just use the existing like subtitle array, for example, if you want to display the date under the image, and then in detailviewcontroller.h, create an NS string, and then pretty much just do what we did in tutorial 25, where we learn how to pass a string between views, and it's exactly the same thing. We are passing the string instead of the image, so here where we say um, detailvc.detailimage equals, we can just change that to detailvc. Uh, and then the, you know, date text or something, date string equals, and then we can create an NS string and then set it like we have here. So we can just say self dot date string, for example, equals self dot subtitle objects array, object and index, index path dot row. So let's make sure that the rest of the application is working, and then I'll explain the code. So it looks all good, all the images are displaying properly, and they're all displaying, and the app's not crashing. So let me now go and explain the code that we've just created. Let's start in table view controller.m. The first thing that we've done is uh, create an image objects array. And all that has, it doesn't act, it's not actually an array of images, it's actually an array of names of images. So we've got all our images there corresponding to the object at index in self.title objects array and subtitle objects array. So the first one in the array is the 5S, the first one in the title objects array says iPhone 5S, and the first date in subtitle objects array is the date of the release of the iPhone 5S. So they're all corresponding to each other. Then we've added this table view did select row and index path method. So when the user clicks on a cell or a row in the table view, and you see the gray the gray selection appear and everything, any code that we put inside to select row and index path is run. So the first thing we're doing is saying self.tableViewImage, which as we declared in .h file, is just a UI image. So it's just an image. Now you can't display a UI image, you can display an image in a UI image view, but a UI image is just the image, and you can't display it, it's just an image. So we're saying, we're setting it to be a UI image, obviously, and we're saying, let's create this image from an image that is named, so UI image, image named, and what's the name of the image? Well, this is the name of the image. It's self.image objects array, so it's something in this array up the top here, and it's the object at index, so it is the text at index, or the text, this is the first index, second index, third index. Well, actually, no, that's not true. That's 0 index, 1 index, 2 index, and so on. So, object at index, so let's say it's index 0, then it's going to be 5s.jpg. So, we're saying object at index, index path.row. And index path.row is the row that was selected. So, in my simulator, let's say I select this top row here, iPhone 5s, that is, or let's say the third one, which is actually row 2, because it starts at row 0, so row 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So if I select row 2, then we're going to get the text from self.image objects array, 
at index 2, so 0, 1, 2. And at index 2 is 5.png, which corresponds to index 2 here, which is iPhone 5. So we've now got the object at the index, and then finally what we're doing is going, so that, that's our image, so we've now got the image, and the image is now an image. So we can get an image view and display the image or whatever, but we've got, now got the image. So we're then saying, perform segue with identifier sender self, and the identifier is detail. So what it's going to do, let's go back to the story bar for a moment, it's going to go, this is the table view. Now there's only one segue coming out of it, and that's from the view controller generally. And the reason that we've done that, rather than triggering it from a button, is that we don't want the segue to trigger when a user clicks a button. We want to trigger it in code. So we've got this segue here. So when we say self-perform segue with identifier detail, it's going, okay, so I've got this segue coming out of me. And the segue, what, what's the identifier? Well, we've set it to be detail. So it's going, okay, so we've been told to perform a segue with the identifier detail. So let's do that. And the detail is pushing this view controller on top of this view controller essentially because the style is push and push is only possible with a navigation controller which we do have so it's now then showing this detail view controller but then you're probably wondering okay so the detail view controller is showing but if we go into detail view controller dot m the only code that we actually have is self dot image view dot image equals detail image so where are we setting the detail image well, that's happening back in tableViewController.m in prepare for segue. So we're making sure that it's the correct segue. So if segue is identified as detail, so if it is that segue that we created, then let's set detail view controller. Let's create detail view controller and initialize it and give it some memory in the device. And then let's say detail view controller dot detail image. So that's like saying if I went detail uh, view controller dot h, we've created the app property detail image. So all we're doing is setting that remotely from our table view controller. If we were inside detail view controller, we type self dot detail image, but in this case we're not, so we're typing detail view controller dot detail image. And then we're saying, let's set that, or let's make that equal to self dot table view image, which we set in did select row and index path to be the image corresponding to the row that was selected. And then as soon as our view appears, so as soon as our detail view controller appears, we're setting the image view in the detail view controller. So we're setting that image view's image to be the image that we just set in prepare for segue with identifier in table view controller.m. So it's that simple. And it's a really powerful tool to be able to know how to access data and to present data when cells are selected in table views. Many applications use table views and probably a lot of applications that you use use table views. You'll see it in the music application built into iOS when your music is displayed, and you'll see it even Facebook and Instagram and all of those applications use table views with custom cells. So rather than our application where we've just got a title and a subtitle, an application like Instagram or Facebook has a completely custom cell. It might have a title and a subtitle, but it's probably also got images, buttons, and so on. And we'll look at how to customize a UI table view and a UI table view cell in a later tutorial. For now, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and if you do have any questions about how to do anything related to table view or programming generally, message us directly through YouTube, visit our website, 99centsappdevelopment.com, and get in touch with us on that, or message us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash 99centsappdevelopment, or simply comment on this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time for another Xcode programming tutorial.